Hey guys, Lily here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So happy New Year's guys. Hubby and I are out here in our backyard getting ready to go fishing and we're so excited. I hope you all had a wonderful um, New Year's Eve and you know had a great time last night. We did so that's why my face is how it is. You know I didn't get a lot of sleep last night but it's all good. Ready to go fishing and we want you guys to come with us. So Hubby has some shad right here. It's frozen shad. It is super hard um, but we're gonna go do some cat fishing. And right now we have to take my son Lewis to work, but he's like, let me leave it out here in the sun for a little bit so it can thaw out. But we're going to use shad for bait. And our boat over here is full of leaves. <laughs> Cubby's old shoes. My mother-in-law put them in here because our dog, Koba, he likes messing with them. And she's like, no, don't let him play with them because then he's going to think it's okay to tear up shoes. So it's full of leaves. And let me take them out real quick. Hubby's over here helping me take out the leaves. Mm -hmm. Say what up, Boo Boo. We haven't said hi to the uh, guys in a long time. <laughs> we can go do some fishing. Hex, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look how it looks over here in the front. Like I said, we've had our poor little boat all abandoned. Mm -hmm. Koba's ready. He's ready to go fishing with us. You ready, Koba? You ready? Yeah? <laughs> crazy. He gets all crazy. Don't jump off of me, boy. Koba. He got some big old paws and he scratches me. But yeah, he's ready. And so this is the best I could take out the leaves. Um, I was telling Hubby guys, or more like he was telling me, um, we're going to go do some cat fishing. Like I told you guys, I showed you all the... Um, shad but he said he's also going to take a bass fishing pole and i told him to take mine also because we haven't been fishing in forever and you know i want i want to cast and reel cast and reel and y'all know that bass fishing is my thing i love bass fishing more than cat fishing so we got to do a little bit of bass fishing along the way till we get to the spot where we're gonna um catfish y'all know how we do it and so we're here guys and if you know you know um we always have this little backpack cooler that we like to bring drinks in or snacks today we just brought um a coke a dr pepper and a water and that's it gotta make sure i get hubby's phone and yep we brought coba along <laughs> He's over here panting. He was over there running around exploring. First time coming here. So these are the views out here today. If you guys don't know, there's a lot of background noise because we're right off the freeway. Hubby's getting the boat ready over here so we can hurry up and get in and do some fishing. Um, it feels great out here. The weather is in the 70s. It's about 73 degrees and the wind is at 12 miles an hour. It's a little bit windy, but Y'all know we don't care because we haven't been fishing in a long, long time. So it's cool. So we're in the water, guys, already. Koba, he still needs to get used to getting being on the boat because he was scared to get in here. But he's good. He'll get used to it. Right, boo-boo? I said Koba needs to get used to being in the boat because he got scared to get in. Yeah. But he'll get used to it once we start coming more. So guys, I'm going to start off with this little spinner bait. This is the one that I left on there the last time we came fishing, which I don't remember when that was, but I'm going to use this one. Hubby, he already threw his in. And so yeah, like I said, we're gonna fish it along this edge until we find a spot where we're gonna anchor down and catfish. Looking nice out here. I so miss this, guys. <laughs> so relaxing. Look at all the birds. And 
and the first piece of shed is on there. Hubby's gonna get ready to throw it in. See if we have luck on a big catfish. This isn't called Catfish Pond for no reason. <laughs> In the water. How many did you bring, Boo Boo? Just three. Hubby just brought three fishing poles for catfishing, guys. So we didn't catch anything along the way. But yeah, let's see what happens. You never know until you throw. What, Boo Boo? You never know until you throw. I don't know if y'all heard Hubby, but he said you never know until you throw. So he already threw it in. So no luck in this area guys and hubby's reeling them in. We're going to move to another spot around the bend that way. Um, one time we came fishing in December and it wasn't cold at all. It was a hot December and hubby was catching them from left to right. So I'm like, let's move that way. <laughs> this area right here, if y'all saw the videos where hubby caught that big catfish that was like one of the biggest catfish he's caught. Right baby? Yeah. It was as big as a baby. But yeah, like I said, no luck in this area and hubby's gonna reel them in so we can move. And so I had anchored us down. Y'all know our anchors. Yeah. It's hard with one hand. I'm gonna lose my phone. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna put it in. Hubby's putting his up over there and it's time to head on out to another spot. What'd you say, boo-boo? Let's move because this big old chicken we have right here. <laughs> it weighs like 80 pounds, it's all scared. Yeah, guys, Copa's over here, he's being a little chicken. He's over here right next to me, he doesn't want to move. Last time when he got on the boat, he wasn't acting like that, right, baby? No, he, wasn't. he wasn't, he's acting like a big old baby, he's getting on my nerves because he wants to be, look, he's right, right here, and I fish like this, like this and so he's like right here and he wants to put his head right here and yeah so but we're off guys we're off to another little fishing spot i mean the same pond but another little spot yeah and then he papa's been slobbering here lately i don't know why why do dogs slobber guys i don't know our um, little Chihuahua we used to have, she never, she never slobbered, right, baby, no. MJ? But Koba, he always has these big old slobbers. Y'all, I don't know if y'all see that one hanging, and sometimes they're even longer. They're so disgusting. But anyways, I don't know why they slobber. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. I could Google it, but it was just right now that um, hubby saw that he had that slobber right there. So just wondering if y'all know. Let me know. So we're getting closer to the area where we're gonna anchor down. Where is it, Boo Boo? Just right here? Just right here in this little area right here, I mean, baby. <laughs> guys. Guys, so Hubby's already set up over here. He has that fishing pole right there, and then he has this one right here. And then I'm using mine. I'm casting it out. I'm fishing for um, bass. And so he said since I took mine out, he's gonna take his out and do a little bit of bass fishing too. No luck, like I said, guys, but we're out here enjoying the day. It's beautiful, like I said. Somebody over here isn't enjoying it so much. <laughs> I don't know why, Koba. But yeah. Guys, Hubby's getting some action on this fishing pole right here. The line got tight. But we shall see. It got away? Oh, yes, it did. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll throw it back out there. You know, yeah. you got some. Did you rebate them? Yeah. Yeah, Hubby said he was going to rebate them every time we move. Because sometimes he'll leave them on there and he'll throw them back the same way. But he said he was going to rebate them. Eh, look at all them guts coming out of there. And it's in once again. You should have let it mess with it a little bit more. I always tell hubby, dig it out. On the first time it goes down, he's like, no, you got to let it mess with it a little bit more. And now this time I'm like, he should have let it mess with it a little more. He's like, who understands me, huh? 
that yeah 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 it's exciting when you get a nibble even if you get a nibble and don't catch it right baby at least we're getting action we were getting no action but have we got some i'm still over here casting my fishing pole Koba's still right here next to me being a big old baby that's why i call him a big baby everyone that goes and visits us um he'll bark and he has that mean look and everything and they'll be like oh he looks so mean and i'm like he's not he's a big baby he's a little wimp <laughs> sorry kova i know i'm putting you on blast but yeah i tell him to lay down right there and chill but he don't want to so guys this is how the shed that we got looks like um it's a pretty big size Right, baby? Like yeah. the size of my hand. The length of my hand. So that's what hubby's using. All juicy. Remember how I showed you guys earlier that they were all frozen? Well, they're thawing out. So guys, hubby says that we should have moved from this spot at 2.15. And it's 2.16. He keeps, um, I guess, time, you know, of how long we stay at the different little spots. Um, but we got a little bite, so he said we're going to stay like another 15 minutes. And then if we don't catch nothing, we'll move to another spot. Right, boo-boo? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. We're out here. Y'all know. Just chilling. Dang it, guys. Hubby was getting action on this one. And it actually went down. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> but I wasn't recording. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Did it go down right now again, boo-boo? Yeah, it's going down from the tip, but um, like I said before, I um, took my phone out and then I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but there it went. He's getting action on this fishing pole right here. And we were barely getting ready to leave. Remember how I told you guys we were going to wait 15 more minutes and then, you know, if we didn't get any action, we would switch to another little spot. Well, we got action, so Hubby says we're going to wait another 15 minutes. But there it goes. It's tugging. I don't know if y'all see the tip going down. Get it, boo-boo. Get it. He said he was going to put a smaller um, piece of shad because maybe it's a smaller um, catfish. But we're not sure. He says hopefully it's not a turtle because turtles like to mess with bait as well. Oh, yeah, I got him. You got him, boo-boo? Hex, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look at that fishing pole, guys. Look at that fishing pole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm happy, guys, because I yes. thought we weren't going to... I thought we weren't going to catch Dilly Squat like all our previous past videos. And then we haven't been able to come fishing. So we haven't had, you know, the feeling of a bite, hubby. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at hubby's face. He's happy. <laughs> I'm happy over here. Yeah. Look at that catfish. There's pretty big sized catfish, pretty good sized catfish at this pond. Koba's over here. Look guys, he's like, what is it? What is it? Uh-uh, uh-uh, boy. But yeah, that will be caught a catfish. And we were just getting ready to move, like I told you guys, we were just getting ready to switch locations. Uh-uh, Koba. Koba has never seen us catch a fish. Last time we took him, we didn't catch diddly squat. But yeah, look at him, guys. He's over here wanting to eat it. Koba, <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay, he got to investigate. It's a catfish. <laughs> so one more time for you guys. <laughs> there goes hubby's catch. <laughs> And we did not eat them, guys. Um, we had a viewer um, say to not, he told us not to eat them because they were contaminated. And sure enough, we do not eat the fish that we catch. So I let him know. It's just for fun. Whenever you want to let go of them, it's just for fun. The places where we come fishing, we do not know, you know, what's in the water. So we rather not. I've said it in my videos previous times, but yay. We always catch and release. And Koba's over here going crazy. <laughs> Look at him. You're gonna fall in the water, watch. But yep. How did it feel, boo boo? It felt great. It felt great, right? Ooh. I bet it did. <laughs> you really it in. Oh, I got excited for you. And so, Hubby's gonna throw it back in the water. 
see if he has any more luck over here he has one of his fishing poles right there the other one right here and the other one he hasn't set it up it's over here and no more luck so we're gonna reel in the fishing poles while hubby is and we're gonna move to another spot and we'll see you guys when we get over there did they mess with the boo-boo not anymore right Koba's over there. And we're on our way. Hopefully we can get across to the little spot where I want to get to through this side because Hubby says we can't. Sometimes when the water's too low, there's like a concrete, like little, I don't know, like little barrier that we can't get across. So if the water's too low. But hopefully it's not. It looks like the water's pretty high. Are you gonna be fishing, Boo Boo? to cross a little um, concrete barrier because we do not see it like I said the water is um, higher than normal one time we showed you guys when it was really low and you could actually see it um, I don't know if you guys saw that video but it was here at catfish pond and we couldn't drag the boat across because it was too much concrete and we were gonna scrape the bottom of our boat but today I think we can make it across this is how it looks it's a little path right here where y'all see all those little whatever they are that tall grass all across through here and there's like a little path like at, cars can actually um go through there right baby yeah they, can. yeah they can because there's like a you see that path i don't know if you guys can see it on my phone but there's a path and right here last time we couldn't cross through right here there's concrete on the floor on the bottom i mean but yeah We were able to cross it. Hubby was using the paddle, but we were able to get through. Good thing, good thing. Hubby says which way, that way or that way, and I say it doesn't matter. Whichever way he chooses to go, I'm thinking he's choosing this way. <laughs> but yeah. Further in there, there's not a lot of wind, as you can see right here. There's a lot of waves, but further over there, the water looks calm. So we made it to the little spot where we're gonna fish and we're already anchored down. This is how it looks. The water is, like I said, nice and calm right here. Hubby already put some shad on this fishing pole, threw it in. But yeah, this is how it's looking over here, the views. Fishing poles out. And now time to play the waiting game again. <laughs> Hopefully we have some luck over here on this little area. So guys, this just happened. I broke my fishing pole. I was catching like, how big a fish would you say it was, Boo Boo? Like how many pounds? A 10 like a 10 pounder and it just, it broke my fishing pole. <laughs> Not just kidding. I snagged it and then I was pulling on it too hard and I broke it. But it was time for a new one already. So I guess. Here we go. We're over here close to the front of the pond, guys, where we parked our truck. As you guys can see, there goes the cars on the freeway. But Hubby wanted to come over here to this area. This is how it looks. One time we came night fishing um, and we were over there in that little area. We brought you guys fishing and we were on that little piece of land. right there <laughs> so guys never mind we're gonna go ahead and call it a day we just caught that one bass but 
Hubby said we're gonna um, look catfish around. Catfish. I mean, one one catfish. My bad. I wanted to catch a bass so bad. I even broke my fishing pole, but I didn't catch one. But anyways, um, we're gonna call it a day. Like I said, we're gonna go home. But Hubby just likes to go around and look at the trees and check them out and see if there's any lures that people might have bought stuff. Um, that's usually what we do. And then we'll go home. I don't see anything shining in the trees. Usually something shiny will give it away because the wind moves it around and it'll shine, it'll get shiny. But yeah, look at all of this litter guys. This is sad, people come and litter over here. But there's a little place I was telling y'all that Hubby and I come and fish. That time that we came to fish at night, we parked our truck up here and then we were fishing it out here to this area. But yeah, we were fishing it off the land that time. That's how it looks from this side. And our truck's over there around the corner that way. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. We're already over here to our truck. No lures got stuck That's in the trees. Boat. Yeah, that boat right there, it's a new one here. Someone came to drop it off right here. Along with other trash, some chairs, office chairs and stuff. But yeah. So this is the boat from a little closer. It had a big motor. A little one. Or is that one of the ones you step on, boo-boo? Yeah. Hubby wants one of these motors, guys. Those that you step on. But yeah, they just came and dropped it off right here. That's so sad, too. They dropped it off with um, with life jackets, with a buoy. The shadow's still working. Yeah. Let's get some Guys, have you said that the shad was still doing its job? It was still working. Yeah. So. How long have you had it? I don't know. That's the shad, time. guys. We went to buy that one. We've had it in our freezer for a while because we went to get it and our um, our plan was to go do some night fishing with our boat with the new lights that hubby had put but what happened boo -boo? it rained and then work so we weren't able we were never able to use the shad and we used it now this time it it caught hubby a fish so that was good but yeah guys i guess that was it for this video we hope you guys loved it we enjoyed being out here in nature it had been a long time right baby long time it felt good sorry baby but yeah um we'll see you guys on our one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah, we'll see you guys on our next one. Bye!